Whether you're an astronomer or merely a space buff, the pictures are nothing short of spectacular. We're so excited and, and uh, sort of awestruck by these first images. Dave Murrow works for Lockheed Martin, the aerospace company that designed and built the James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM, which has just given us the first glimpse of the universe as it existed 13 and a half billion years ago. You see a lot of galaxies, and what what I'm surprised really is just the sheer number of them. And liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. 17 years after work on the camera first began, a rocket carrying the $10 billion telescope blasted off into space nearly seven months ago. Putting it through the launch environment and then all of the deployments, you know, we were a little nervous. Separation Webb Space Telescope. Webb is now firmly positioned to orbit the sun, some 1.6 million kilometers from Earth, while it prepares to tackle some weighty issues. We're really looking back and trying to understand how, how things became the way they are. How did the universe form and what is it made of? Do the atmospheres of Earth-like planets contain life-sustaining molecules like water? You have to go back to the source material, which is really all of the, the molecular cloud that it started from and how did, how did it end up at Earth and not anywhere else, for example, in our solar system. When you talk about distant galaxies, because light travels at a fixed speed, the further away something is, the further back in time we're looking. So this is actually the way that a telescope can sort of act like a time machine. Near cam shown here during construction and its highly sophisticated optics, as well as a second camera on board Webb, both see infrared light, which allows the telescope to observe galaxies which formed several hundred million years after the Big Bang. Murrow's job with Colorado-based Lockheed Martin is to apply what's learned with Webb to a future space telescope mission, perhaps around the year 2040. Science does, in fact, give us answers. But what science really does is give us more questions. This observatory is expected to beam back razor-sharp images for up to a decade, plenty of time for both. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.